11 11. You're very squinty. Well, I mean, it's sunny out here and I forgot my sunglasses, so this is what we're working with. I had a guy I was supposed to meet today who had a 126610LN. I was going to buy it for 13000 We had made the agreement on either Friday or Saturday, I can't remember. We're gonna meet at Fabian's just so I could have the watch authenticated because the guy's not a dealer, so I needed to make sure I had that insurance prior to buying. I made the plans to meet with Fabian, and then this morning I sent him a message to confirm that we were gonna meet up. He had already sold the piece to someone else, so, um, why am I saying this? Because this is just kind of one of those things that I'm trying to give y'all like a real kind of look into what it's like. And some mornings it's like this, where I've had a plan for my day and this is how my day was gonna go and this was what I was gonna do. Things get turned around and deals don't go through or people back out or whatever happens. And then you kind of have to go on and figure out the rest of what you're gonna do. So bummer that I wasn't able to get that watch, but it's okay, we're moving on. I have a couple things I'm working on. I actually just missed a phone call and got a voicemail as we were getting over here. This guy wants to sell a watch, so I'm gonna call him back. I also have another client who, um, and this is another kind of, I guess, a learning thing, not for me, but for the client and for some of you guys who may not know it. When a dealer or dealers tell you guys that you need to jump on a deal because it's a good deal, or we say, you know, things move quickly in this business, you know, we can't hold things, we can't promise things for, you know, X amount of time. It's, it's you got to jump on what's happening. You've got to jump on what's happening. I had a client message me about two weeks ago and he was wanting to get uh, one of the new AP codes that just came out. And I was like, absolutely, I can get that for you. But since it's a newer one, you know, the options are gonna be limited. So he was like, all right, cool. Just send me whatever you can find. I go out to all my groups. I put my calls out and I found one for a really, really good deal. Hit the guy up, didn't hear anything. So I'm like, okay, you know, if it's a deal lost, it's a deal lost. I touch base with him, you know, you got to check in. Didn't hear anything, so moved on. And the, of course the watch gets sold. And then a couple days ago, uh, the same gentleman hit me up. I want to find this watch. Well, now I can't find that watch for less than two grand more than what I had already found it for. So it's going to cost me money. It's going to cost him money more than it should have either of us, but such is this business so and while that might not be the case for all models you know when, especially when you're talking about Rolexes a lot of those like hold true there's certain especially sport models and things like that there is a certain set market price and anybody try there's no wiggle room you can't charge 500 more you can't charge a thousand more you certainly can't charge 2,000 more than what somebody else is charging because they're so they're all over the place. You can go anywhere and find one. So there's no reason to go and pay more than what the market value is. With this specific piece that I was looking for, it just came out this year and they're selling for under retail. So people who are buying this watch and then turning around and selling it are immediately taking a loss. So when you're talking, people are taking 10, 15, $20,000 losses, they're going, they, they don't wanna do that. So they're going to try to mitigate that loss in any way possible. So when you can find something for, you know, two grand less than what is normal, that is amazing and you need to jump on it because it's not gonna happen again, not at least for another probably year or so. There might be a one that pops up and that would be awesome, but and it's not gonna be readily available in that way for probably another six months to a year, just because the, wa the market isn't saturated with that specific piece. Hello? Hi, I'm Mr. Tullis. Hi, yes, this is she, is this Yeah, this Hi, Liz, how are you doing? Hi, I'm doing really well, how are you? I'm doing fine, thank you. I'm trying to get rid of a watch, and I was, I was wondering how much you could offer me. It's a 2016 Datejust 241 millimeter Oyster bracelet with the Rhodium Factory Diamond Dial. Rhodium Factory Diamond Dial. Okay, do you mind sending me over just some photos so I can see the condition of the watch as well as the full set? Does it have all the links and the hang tags and everything? Everything complete. Okay, yeah, if you could just shoot me over some photos so I can see the condition, just so I can make sure, and then I'll shoot you over a quote. Sure, I will do that after I hang on. Okay, perfect. And then you're Los Angeles local, right? 
I'm in, I'm in LA. Once we agree on price and everything, if it's cool with you, we can just set up to a time to pick up the watch instead of having to do the whole wire and uh, delivery and everything. Yeah, yeah, I, I would prefer that. Okay, perfect. Sounds good. All right, I'll and look for it. You, 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 need, you need picture of my box and all the warranty card and everything? Or if you don't watch? mind, yes, please. Just so oh, I can I, be sure I, it's all I there. I don't mind at all. Just, I'll send you everything. Perfect. Thank you so and much. Then, and then if we agree on the price today, we could do it either today or tomorrow, correct? Absolutely. So I'll, I'll shoot you the pictures right now and hopefully get a good code from you. And payment will be cash or, or check? I can do cash. Okay, perfect. I'll, I'll send you the pictures right now and can hopefully give me a, a code right away. Okay, yes, absolutely. I will. Okay, okay talk to you soon. Bye. That's one of my favorite date, Jess. A rhodium diamond dial. It looks really, really pretty. Those watches looking well in that time frame are going for around 10, 250 to 10.5. It's beat to shit. This is why I always have to get photos because this is gonna be something that's going to take, this isn't a regular polish for Fabian. This is gonna take him a lot of work. So I have to factor that in whenever I give a quote because I have to pay Fabian however much it's gonna take him to fix it. Yeah, look at the chunks taken out up at the top. Hey, so I did. I just took a look at them. So those are selling in really good condition to retail clients for around 10000 Since yours is a, a little pre-loved, it's going to take some work for my watchmaker. He's going to have to laser etch some metal into it because it looks like there's some pretty deep scratches. So that's going to cost me around $300 to do. And then mm -hmm. I'll be able to sell for around 10000 depending. Um, so okay. I could offer you 9000 would be my buy price for that. 9000 Yes, sir. Okay, can we do it? What about tomorrow morning? Can I make you a downtown tomorrow morning? Yeah, I can do tomorrow morning. Let's do 1030. 1030 is perfect for me. Can okay, you text perfect. me the address? Absolutely. I'll text you Fabian's office. That way I can have the watch authenticated. Uh, so it, it won't be less or more when we see tomorrow, right? Is no. Like a set price? Yeah, that's the set price. Okay. I was wondering if you could do like 9250 just to help me out a little bit. Let me talk to Fabian and see exactly how much this is going to cost me to fix because that's going to eat okay. a lot into my profit. Um, but let I me see and then I'll, I'll let you know, okay? Okay, cool. See you tomorrow. Okay, see you tomorrow. Okay. Have a good day. All right. You too. Bye-bye. So what can we dump it for if we had to dump it? Could I dump it? I mean, I could ultimately dump it for 95, like super easy. If they're going for 10 or 10, 250, you know what I mean? 500 bucks is a big drop on that lower of a price with those watches when you're looking at things under 20 grand or really under 15 grand you're looking at watches of that price 500 to a thousand dollars that's everything that's all the money that you're gonna have in that watch is 500 to a thousand dollars so every bit counts that's why him saying you know I want 250 it's like I've really got to think about that how much I can make and how much it's going to cost me to fix it because if I do have to dump it for 9500 but I've paid him 9250 and then I've got to go pay Fabian 300 bucks cuz this thing needs a laser well then I'm I'm out 50 bucks at that point plus my labels and whatever else I've got to deal with in order to do it you know so we'll see All right Hello good morning it is 10.30 in the morning. I'm not gonna lie, I don't feel that great today. But nevertheless, we have business to do. I wonder if we beat him here. Maybe. Fabian said he was on his way at 10.07. Hey, Liz. Yo, did I beat you here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Good. Okay, no worries. He's not even here yet. Oh, somebody just buzzed me in. Hi. Hey. <laughs> okay, well, we're, we're here, so I'll just see you in a second. Cool. Are you there with your client as well? No, he's not here yet. Yeah, I'm like six, seven minutes out. I'm okay. Apart. All right, sweet. No worries. I'll see you in a minute. Hello? Okay. Okay. Right. Hi. How are you? Hey, good. How are you? Donuts. Oh, you're so sweet. I'm bribing you. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta be hey. Cool. Here, you can have a seat right here if you'd like. Okay. I mean, it's, it's not really dinged up. It's just crap. Yeah. He's gonna have to laser some. Just keep my finger where. Yeah. 
my peripheral next to them. Oh, really? <laughs> so I have oh, to yeah, it's right like now. sentimental value. I get that. Got the panda though, man. I love that one. Oh, yeah, I love this one. Oh, my favorite Daytona. Okay, he's parking. Okay, cool. Yeah, everything should be good. I'm just gonna have him open it up. I'm gonna go put it on his desk so he can just go open it up real quick. Do you want a water or anything? No, I'm good. I'm okay, good. I'm gonna grab myself one. Do you want one, babe? I'm good. Okay. So this is where he does all that refinishing. Mm-hmm. Does he service yeah. watches? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, he does servicing, polishing. That's like the polishing room. I think of putting this away and not wear it anymore. Should I polish it? I always say, don't polish it until you want to sell it. I'm so scared of. The person doing the polishing will f it up, you know, like over polishing yeah. and stuff like that. You cannot yeah. just trust anybody. No. Yeah, you definitely can't. No, I get it, because we definitely, we went through quite a few before meeting Fabian. So you also do jewelry, right? Mm-hmm. Can you get Cuban links? I can. Okay. I keep looking for a bracelet. Okay. Do you want diamond or just all gold? Just, just plain white solid gold. Yeah, absolutely. Hi. How are you? How are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hey. Yeah, he brought donuts. Oh, thank you guys. Isn't that so nice? He brought oh, them. He he's so sweet. Yeah, that was cool. I was going to say, he's quick. He does good work. Yeah, you guys can check it out. Perfect. It's completely all. If you would like to From count day that, one, there's 9,000. Uh, 2016, oh, first Rolex. When it first came out, yeah. 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 I hey, love bro. this watch, but I, mean, I, I want to get something else. What's the first thing you look for? You can the just dial. tell. I mean, no, oh, besides the, the, the dial, way. you can know. Like, opening the watches, you can tell. Like, the markings, the finishing of the, of the metal. I mean, this thing never mm -hmm. been disassembled. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's, but you can tell, you know? Like, Rolex is a big company, so they go yeah. from A to Z to have their quality control checked. Okay. Yeah. She, she told me you're going to have it uh, authenticated. I have no problem with Yeah. It. No, I mean, we normally open it just to, you know? Yeah, no, no, no. Just to be on the safe yeah. side. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. We have customers that sometimes, you know, they've taken them into places and they get the movement swap. So I've seen cases where the case oh, bracelet's the original, yeah, yeah, but the movement's aftermarket and they use a real dial. Mm -hmm. So you look at it, you know, by, by the naked eye, everything looks good. Mm -hmm. But once you open them, you know, it's no... And sometimes the person doesn't even know. Yeah. You know, they'll go and take you know, it to someone. You buy from someone you don't trust. Yeah. Them. Or even if it's not just buying the watch, they go and get it serviced by someone that you don't yeah, know. I my mom. She had a service and they swapped out her dial. She don't know until like 15 years later that oh, she needed no. another service. And then this time, she sent it to a RSC and it told her it's a fake dial. Yeah. So I thought they, they replaced it for her, but they charged her. Yeah, you just yeah, have to be her. careful, you know? And it's like, if you're trying to buy something from somebody or sell something to somebody and they're just being like extra weird about you wanting to check things out, red flag, yeah. like there's a problem. I'm completely comfortable. You know what I mean? I'm like, I'll meet you wherever you want to meet and have whoever open this watch. As long as they're a certified person to open that watch, absolutely, I have no problem. Can you take a look at this watch? Yeah. Let me know if I just need a, like a polish. As far as, I mean, as far as where, no, this is, the comment, like it's nothing really bad. I, I've seen worse. So you wouldn't even. I wouldn't do, even touch it. Touch I say up. just run through it. You know, don't run be afraid it. to wear it. Okay. No, no, That's I, I've worn it since, since I bought it at uh, 2020. I yeah, don't it, but I wore that. I wore that day just more. Just more? Yeah. Scratch it up, beat it up. I mean, that's the least of it. We can always laser fill it, recut. You know. And then it'll be back to like brand new. Brand new. Okay, yeah. Cool. Cool. You know? so but just run through it. Run okay, through it, cool. and. So what do you see the future in this watch in price? I cannot predict the future, <laughs> you can, especially yeah. right now. So you think this one will, will retain the value better than the, the, the new reference that just came out? Well, it's that discontinued, one? so well, yeah. Discontinued. Anything discontinued, discontinued, you'll be able to get a premium on. And the longer you have it, you know what I mean? Like the longer it's been since it's been discontinued and the better condition it is and the fact that you have full set and everything, oh, yeah. the more value it's going to retain. Perfect. And the, the less it's polished, the, no, you know no, what I mean? I, like, especially I if you have it. I don't trust yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's good. Like, if you have it, just you, wear it. And then when you want to sell it, if the person wants to buy it have, and they want to polish it. Have a watch with you right now that's been overpolished? I want to see how it over -polished? is. Overpolished? No, it's really, most of the time that comes to me, I have to correct it. So it's either been polished through somebody else. Mine was. To, and I you fixed it. Yeah. Mine was overpolished and he fixed it. You could barely even see the crown because oh, wow. mine's an old piece. And you could hardly see the crown, and he completely 
That looks really nice. Yeah, he completely fixed it for me. And I've been wearing it for like a year. It's a 34, actually. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, there, there's situations that come in like that. So people that get their watches polished and serviced elsewhere, and they come completely rounded out on the lugs. Mm -hmm. Bracelets come out all. Yeah, you know? that's what I'm afraid of. They yeah. just destroy the whole. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, whole that's the number system. one. Like the crown, I see is where like yeah, the crown is just you know? so faint. It's not that bad, right? no, I, I wash my watches every uh, once a month. Yeah, normally yeah. what I brush, yeah the yeah brush what I soap. use is normally um. It's a uh, warm water and soap. Yeah, that's like Irish Springs is what I use because it dries everything well, out, I, I, and I just run it through a steamer. Yeah, his steam machine's cool. Yeah, oh, I don't have that. I hope. No? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I had you guys, let me see your watch. I have. I'll steam it up, and you can see a pretty crazy difference. Oh really? Right. He has like a different room for everything. So for a regular service, how long will it take? Um, usually uh, like a week and a half for for okay. chronographs. Yeah. So it kind of just depends, you know. But this looks good. It looks normal wear. Just don't be afraid. Especially in a steel watch, you really don't have to be scared, you know? Gold the watches, white gold, you gotta white gold give. Gold scratches easier. Yeah, gold very scratches soft. Really soft. Yeah. Very, very soft. It gets in there pretty, pretty, pretty quick. You literally look at mine, and it's like the steel versus the gold yeah. part. Like you see the wear on the gold so much more. Oh, you know what? Maybe they even know what size that bracelet Let me just try it. I'll try it in the back. Okay. okay. Nope, you don't have to deal with it with any of the other GMTs, so they ver they very well might. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mine is the scratches, bro. So fresh yeah, and so it's clean. Not that bad, though. But it gets everything, you know, all the like the top dirt. You know, we wear lotion. Mm -hmm. You know, you're touching stuff, so it just it's a build up, yeah, you know. Yeah. Oil and all that that stuff. you get on the watches, oh, wow. yeah. Thank you. All right, guys. Okay. Enjoy your donuts. Yeah. Okay, guys. Thank, Thank you so you. much. No problem. I'm nice so excited. It was so nice to meet you. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Anytime. 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 I'm ready to go. I'm starving. So now I need to go and see about sourcing some white gold Cubans for this guy. My client who was looking at the AP code, there's only one other one that I've been quoted on the market. It was two grand more than the original, but he's ready to jump on it. So he shot me a wire yesterday. So now we are going to the bank. His wire cleared this morning. So we're gonna go to the bank and send the wire to the dealer who has the watch. And then I will get the watch tomorrow. And then we will show you guys and ship it out. All right, I'm gonna run in and go do this real quick. I'll be right back. <clears throat> All right, now we've just got a couple errands to run and then we're gonna go to the office and do some work. Hello? Hi, Liz. Hi, yes, this is she. Hey, I just thought I'd introduce myself on the phone because I know we're texting back and forth, so I just wanted to uh, put my voice to my name. Uh, oh, great, okay. thank you. I'm actually yeah. sending, I'm texting you right now. I found a 2009 uh, 26020 ST, it's a vampire. Okay. It's in really good condition. I know 2009 sounds like it's gonna be some like crazy old piece, but it's actually yeah. really nice condition. It has the original strap as well as an aftermarket strap and buckle. It might take a minute since we're on the phone to send over. So I'll have to see which one, which, what it looks like, but uh... Is it, like, how do we know, if just for instance, it's, if it's serviced or not on the watch? Because 2009 is quite old, you know? Yes. So this piece, I actually know the owner personally, so I can reach out to him. Like, I'm not sure with AP, how, how many years it has to be serviced. Like, is it every five years or 10 years, or how does that work? So what I have always, the, the way I've always run is just wear your watch if until it's not working. There's no reason to go fix something that's not broken. There's no reason to have somebody go and take your watch in all these pieces and parts if it's working perfectly. If an issue starts happening, if it's not keeping time it's the way it's supposed to, if something doesn't feel right, then I would say go and take it in. But it, it's not like a car where it needs to be, you know, serviced in order to run properly. Right, right, okay. Well, yeah, no, listen, first of all, I appreciate your time. I know you've got a lot going on. Um, text me, you know, the watch so I can look at it, and, um, and I'll give you my feedback, as always. Okay, and, absolutely. Uh, you know. Yeah, it should come through probably as soon as we hang up. It'll come through. Okay, and, you know, if you can, send me a couple of options also. Like, I Yeah, absolutely. See, I'll send them know, to you as I find them. I also really like, just also let you know, including, not only I can buy more than one watch from you, but I can also, I also really liked the Sky Dweller stainless steel with the blue face. 
I know online they're like 24, 25 or whatever it is. But I, anyway, if you find something that you, you know, you can also shoot that my, shoot it my way as well. Do you like the Jubilee or the Oyster? I think it's the Oyster band. Okay. Jubilee yeah. is going to be 24 or 25, but Oyster should be about a thousand dollars cheaper. I just got one on Jubilee for a client actually yesterday and it was 24. Jubilee, the Oyster will go for a little less. I can probably find it for you for around 23. Mm. Okay, well, let me know. Let me know the year and what, what the condition and stuff. Yeah, but for I'm sure. Pretty, I'm pretty open to, uh, you know, I can meet you anywhere or see the watch or whatever. I know I know you don't do that. Like, you don't meet me at the dealer or wherever you're getting from. But if you have them in stock and you're, and you're you know, I want, I'd like to see them. If you if you have them in stock. If not, then you're yeah. just sourcing it, then I get it. You yeah. Know? This vampire, the one that I just sent you, that one is local and I could I could pick it up and then show you in person if it's something that you're interested in. It's just going to okay. depend on the pieces and whether I know the dealer personally and they'll let me take the watch or right. if, you know, they're going to want payment or a deposit or something it. up front. No, sure. I get it. I get it. All right. Well, I appreciate your time and um, I'll take a look at these when you send it to me. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. Thanks, Liz. I appreciate it. Bye-bye. Yeah. You too. Have a good one. Take care. Talk to you soon. Me too. Like I had said to him on the phone, I just found a 26020 ST, a vampire. It comes with the original buckle. It's a 2009. It comes with the original strap and buckle as well as an aftermarket strap and buckle. Full set for $20,000. If you get a new vampire, they're, for, they're like 30 grand right now. Bottom dollar is like 30. So to be able to get into one, and this one's in really great condition. So it's one of those things I know 2009, it like, you think it's going to be some like hunk of junk, but it's actually really nice. <laughs> okay. He said, don't know. Okay. So he doesn't like the red. Is that, is that gray? Is that gray full box and papers? No, no, the gray ones watch only. Uh, yeah. And um, that's why it's so cheap. It's an elephant. And does that? I'm just it might look the page here. That doesn't sound weird, but I'm sort of like a reddish, kind of brownish hair type, like like light skin. Mm -hmm. Um. And so, like rose gold doesn't look good on me at all whatsoever. Only yellow okay. gold. Okay. Okay. So yellow gold only. And then is that gray? Off or drop, like it depends on how it looks on my skin, kind of thing. They call it an elephant, and that is literally like the best way to describe the kind of gray that it is. Right. You know what I mean? It's like kind of both light and dark at the same time. Like I don't really know how to explain it. It's a lighter gray, but it has like these like darker kind of like earthy, like like kind of bluish green kind of right. tone a little bit, like a little bit of a blue. Yes, yes, it's really good shape. That's why I was sending it. Like, it, if you look at it, you can tell it's in really nice shape. And either way, I'll take it to Fabian if it does need to have a touch-up at all. It'll come to you perfect. Okay, and then I'm still looking for, like, the more, um, the one that you, you showed on your website. Okay. You know? Yeah, no you problem. Know? But does this come, can I get a black band with this or I have to buy one? This only comes with the, with the gray band, but I can source you an aftermarket or an original AP band whichever one you want and it can be put on there right yeah absolutely i kind of like that one you like it i think so yeah okay let me yeah. let me talk to him and see i might be able to get him down 500 bucks let me reach out to him and see all right so where where, where are we oh, oh back to the gold pieces you want to send me some gold pieces too let me see what you have in gold yeah i can give you some gold options okay okay they are obviously they're going to be more expensive than steel yeah no i understand that totally now i live by the way i live I'm not sure where you are. I think you're in Venice, right? I live in Venice, but we have a loft that we see clients at in downtown. But okay, I can meet good. you wherever. I don't mind coming and bringing things to you. Okay, so is the number for Zell the same phone number as this? Yes. Okay. Uh, I'll go ahead and send that to you now. Okay. Do you want cash or do you want Zell? I mean, I don't think you really need to meet me now, but eventually we'll meet. But do you want, to, uh, do you want me to just Zell it now? Yeah, if you can just Zell the deposit and then if you want to pay cash or wire or whatever, cash or wire is fine for the remainder. But just a Zell right now, that way I can go ahead and secure the watch. Okay. But yeah, so you can either... One last thing. I don't mean to sound like a baby or a paranoid, but honestly, you have to promise me that this is like 1,000% legit because... I mean, there's, I, I know you know this, and I know there's been so much shit going on in the market, but it can't 
I can't have any worries at night sleeping that this is not going to be like 100%. Oh, no. That's never. I would never, ever, ever. You don't ever have to worry about it. That's why I just go ahead. That's why all I ask for is deposit prior because that way I have a deposit. And then if this watch comes in and it's not as is, I'm going to tell this guy to kick rocks, which he's a great guy. I know he's, I know this is a legit watch. Either way, Fabian's going to take a look at it. He's going to open it up, make sure everything's good. Cause who knows? He might've bought this watch and he doesn't know that there's something wrong with it or there's something going on. You know what I mean? You never know. No matter how much I trust someone, I always have Fabian open it up. He takes a look at it. He'll tell me. And then if yeah, this yeah, watch isn't if the way it's, if the, watch is, if the watch is good, I'll buy more from you. But if it's, yeah, of course. Just, yeah, of course. Watch, then, Especially no box and no papers. Oh my god, I'm I'm like yeah, you know. yeah. That's why it's priced so well, um, because the box the box and papers aren't included. So that's that's the only reason you won't be able to find an elephant for that low with box and papers ever. If that watch isn't the way it's supposed to be, that watch will get sent back, and I will source you a different piece. Okay, because today there's goddamn fake everywhere. There's fake everywhere. Oh yeah, absolutely. That's why Fabian touches everything because. I have a good eye, but no matter how good your eye is, it's not the same as pulling the watch apart and having somebody right. who knows all the insides be able to right. take a look and authenticate it. So he takes a look at everything. He gets it all done. Um, and then and I, only then will I, he. I, I, I trust you. I like you and I like what you're doing with Darby and everything. I just want to make sure that like it's 100% legit. That's yeah, awesome. absolutely. And I appreciate you instilling us with so much trust. I know it can be like a very nerve wracking thing. There's a lot going on and it's not just something, you know, you're not going to Target and buying a t-shirt. This is something that's very serious and it's something that I take very serious and I have a lot of respect for. Um, but I'll make sure you're very well taken care of and I really do appreciate your trust in this. Okay, great. All right, I'll send you this now. Just let me know when you get it. Okay, okay perfect. I'll let you know. All right, thanks. Thank you. Okay. All right. Package secured. Which one do you think it is? The code. Grace, will you hold that? Hold on to that. Such a pretty watch. It was cool. Brand new code, eleven fifty nine. Sourced for a client. Coming in and going right back out. It's cool to see in person. It's really nice. All right, since it's Saturday, this thing won't be able to go out until Monday after we do our due diligence, take it to Fabian, since we do everything that way, just to, you know, cover our bases, make sure that everything's legit. Gracie! So we found a really good deal on a sub date, so we went ahead and sourced it early for our client you saw in the last video who is wanting to acquire it for his retirement so we got that coming monday and then we also have the elephant that you saw the deal liz did that should come in tuesday pay the dealer monday morning and get it overnight to us and get it checked out and that client's local so we'll go ahead and just meet him in la um, try to figure out if he's cool with being on camera or not hopefully so so we can bring you guys along the AP code client is in Texas, so we will overnight it Monday morning. All right, let's get these watches to the office. All right.